For this teeny tiny minimal API, we only need one file, the program CS. So let's create this project now and make sure to watch until the end if you want to know how to use a minimal API in a professional environment. So we create an ASP.NET Core Web API project with C Sharp. Let's give this thing a name like minimal book API because I want to simply create a book API application. And now very important here, if this is checked in your case, use controllers. This is the old school way. I think it's still a great way to write APIs, but if you want to use a minimal API, just uncheck this box and then we're good to go. .NET 7 is the right framework here. We hit create and there is our minimal book API. And as you can see, this project is really, really small. In essence, we only have the program CS file here and this is everything we need. We got the default weather forecast application here, but let's just remove this and also this thing here and also this. And with that now, we've got our complete application actually, even with Swagger UI already, but no endpoint here that we could call, right? So let's change that now real quick. First, let's just add our class book. There it is. We've got a book with an ID, a title and an author. Really, really simple stuff. And now let's already create our very first method. Please write this with me here. So this is the best way to learn. We hit app and then map get. So this is now how to create a get method using the HTTP get request method here. And now regarding the route, we can just enter it here, right? So for instance, we add book similar to using controllers, we would then use the name of a book controller. So this would then be book. And if you just want to receive all the books, this is the complete route we need here. And now regarding the method, we're just using a lambda expression here. So the brackets, not the brackets, the parentheses here, and then the curly braces. And here we can say we return whatever we want to return. Now let's just say we want to return a list of books. And of course, we have to create this list of books as well. Up here, for instance, now we've got our list of books. And of course, here we add the semicolon. And that's already it. Let's run this already. Here's our result in Swagger UI. We even get the schema here. If you're used to uh, the old school controller way, then you know that we would have have to make sure to use a specific return type in our controller methods to get the schema here. Now with the minimal API, this already works out of the box. And in here, we can try this out, hit execute, and we get the complete list of books. Perfect. So this is already the get method for all the entities. And now let's add the method to get a single entity. This is also pretty, pretty simple stuff. We just again add map get and here now, we add in uh, curly braces the parameter, which is the ID. And here in the parentheses, we also add the parameter. Just make sure that the name is exactly the same here. ID should match ID. And here now what we can do is we just try to find the book from our list with another Lambda expression where we just want to make sure that the book ID is the same as the given ID. We save this. And of course, we always want to rebuild and apply the changes. And now let's go back to Swagger UI. We get our new endpoint here. We can try this out. For instance, ID one, we got the hitchhiker's guide from the Gal uh, to the galaxy, sorry. But now what happens if we enter an ID that does not exist, we get null. So let's make this a little bit better. Here now we can first try to get the book, right? So bar books, and let me just move this up here with the books, of course. And now we've got our book object here. And now we just check if the book is really there. So if it is null, a little fix here. If the book is null, then we want to return the status code not found. So a 404. And this now looks like that. We enter return and now results and then not found. For instance, as you can see, we can also use bad request. Okay. And so on. But in our case, the book was not found. So we just return the not found and maybe add a little message like, sorry, this book doesn't exist something like that, right? And now if the book is not null, what we can then do is we simply say, return results. Okay. And in our case, the book that we have been looking for, and now here is an error, typical copy paste stuff, maybe, or maybe I just removed something. I don't know. I want it to be a little bit or I was a little bit too fast. So now this should work. Make sure to add the closing parenthesis and curly braces here. And this then 
should work. So let's just run this now. And here we see our endpoint again. And now with ID one, this doesn't change anything. But with ID zero now, for instance, we get the 404 status code with our beautiful message. Great. So the get calls are done. And now let's just add a book for that. We add app and now map what's the HTTP request method now exactly this would be post then so here again we just add uh, the name of the well it's not a controller but you know what I mean <laughs> the the correct name maybe here and we now want to add a book so we need the type book the parameter book in here and again it is to totally sufficient to use the lambda expression here again make sure to use the closing uh, braces and parentheses and since this has no database call or anything we just add the book to our list and in the end now we can again simply return the books this automatically adds the uh, status code 200 okay and uh, i would say again let's just test this real quick run this there we are i know let's just add this default string i know it's not great but let's just do it that way id is zero string string and if we now try to get all our books it is here as well okay so this just works this is fine and this is how you would add a book with the minimal API. Next step already is now updating a book with a post request. Let me just copy this thing here for that because this method looks pretty similar. We change the request method. It is now put, but again, we need the book route here. We also need this parameter. We really not really need it. We could only use this parameter updated book and uh, use the ID from this parameter here, right? So this is totally up to you. If you want to make use of this parameter here, use this ID to find the correct book that you want to update. This works or you remove this parameter and then the route then also looks different. And then you can just use the updated book parameter here. Either way, we're looking for the book. If it doesn't exist, we return a not found. And now in here, we just manually update our properties. So the book title now is the updated book title and the book author is the updated book author and now again let's just test this there we are this is our put method now let's see when we get all our books I'd like to change uh, this thing here for instance and in the our put method now try this out and we change ID 3 and the name is now Ready Player 2, for instance. There is actually Ready Player 2 available. I haven't read it yet. People say the first one is better, but uh, still, I love these kind of books. Okay, so here is something wrong, and maybe this is just the comma. Let's try this one more time. And now this worked. So ID3, Ready Player 2, Ernest Klein, and now let's double check. We get all our books, and here is our change. Great. So that's the put method. And now the last one, the final one, our delete method. And again, let me just copy this in here now. Again, this is exact same route because we need the ID as a parameter for delete. So map deleted is now, but we do not need the book. We just say, give me this ID. We try to find this book. And in here now, we would say, books remove, and then uh, not the ID, the book that was already found. In the end, again, let's just return all the books to see the result. And there we are. Web API or minimal API has been rebuilt. So now this is the old list. Let's just say we want to return the book with ID 4. Try this out. We hit execute. This is the result. Okay. I actually wanted to return all the books here. Try this out. ID 4. Hit execute. And now it's gone. All right, okay, so this worked just fine. And now we double check again here, it is gone. What is now necessary to actually use this in a maybe real world application? Well, you pretty much wanna use a data context with entity framework, right? And you have to inject a service then in this case, it would be the data context at least. And if you wanna know how to do that, then just click on the video here on the screen and then you know how.